Hi, it's me again with Kirill Draw Tips and Tricks, and I posted a video the other day, I think just yesterday, on a Christmas ornament I helped my grandchildren make, where they actually signed and wrote love you, and then signed their name. So, and somebody's already questioned how I did that, so I just scanned it. And if you get them to write it out in a brand new Sharpie, um, a fine tip Sharpie, not the real fine, but just a regular, what I call a Sharpie. Not a magic marker thickness, but a Sharpie. And here's the key. You need to f scan it at, at least 600 DPI. When you first open up my scanner program, it's going to try for 200. And then I'm going to save it as a JPEG, and I'm only going to scan in the black and white mode. I'm not going to play around with the deal. And then you hit scan. And this is what I come up with. There, I just wrote out Corel Draw and scan for the video. But we don't need to scan the edges of the page that I scanned it on. So we want to crop away anything we do not we do not need. And I'm just going to double click on that. And for some reason, you might have to do that twice to get rid of these border pages. So there's just my words. And that right there would probably work, but we're going to trace bitmap, outline trace. I use clipart a lot, reduce bitmap, and it's going to scan it real quick. And yours probably going to scan, or not scan it, it's going to trace it real quick. And yours is probably going to trace faster than mine, old computer, and we hit OK. Your new trace will always normally be on top. So what we can do is just delete this. Now we're going to use the yellow box trick that I've shown in many of my videos. Put it to the back of the page. And you can see it's taking away all the background, but I've still got some white skin or white in the center. So go up to Arrange, Ungroup, and then just hit your white and hit Delete. Now, you know, a lot of people have contacted me through the years you know, wanting to redo their mother or their grandmother's uh, recipe book written in a pencil, and it's really difficult. But if you write it on a clean sheet of paper, um, you can get pretty good, and you could actually, this is my terrible handwriting, you could actually improve this a little bit by, you know, it still be my handwriting, but I'm going to get a read, of, read, a, read a little bit of the jiggle. And... You wouldn't want to get rid of, you know, if it's somebody that's like passed away and you're trying to say their handwriting, but if you wanted a handwritten document, and then what's so nice about this, and I did it just uh, yesterday on the grandkids deal, you know, if you need to move the words around, you know, you could put, you know, as long as you group them together, and then you could make them smaller, bigger, and do anything you want, just like, and, and tilt this you know, like that, and then print it on your laser, and it's going to look just like that. Now, a lot of times you might want to turn it black, you know, make sure it's a good black, because you don't know what it traced at or whatever. Let's just see if we can make it a gray. There we go. So if you left-click your mouse, you make sure you get 100% black. Anyway... I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.